Hi everybody, this is David Oakdog Makes. Um, this is going to be my first video, and it's kind of a geeky science thing that I'm going to make from a piece of scrap. If you see behind me, I've got this old water heater, and uh, I've had a project in the back of my head since I was 18 years old that I wanted to make, and I have uh, now been given the opportunity to do so. Uh, this water heater is decommissioned, It's uh, the power is cut, um, the water lines are cut, and uh, I've been kind of disassembling it and taking useful parts off of it, and uh, here's going to be one build from it. Hey, I'm continuing disassembly of the electrical, and you know what this is? This is a uh, step-up transformer that changes uh, 120 volts to somewhere around 10,000 volts. 10,000 volts comes out right here. You know what that's good for? That's good for some Dr. Frankenstein fun. Stay tuned. Okay, so here it is behind me. A Jacob's Ladder. You've all seen one of these in science movies like Frankenstein, right? Okay. Here comes all the caveats and warnings. This thing could kill you. It makes 10,000 volts. Um, that's no joke. That could stop your heart, catch your house on fire, whatever. Don't make one of these. Just like my like my video and, and watch it to satisfy your curiosity, but don't make one of these, please. And if you do, don't hold me liable because I'm telling you right now, don't make one of these. Just enjoy the video. Okay, what you see here is an oil burner transformer. It's on the top of every typical oil burner. Um, this piece here is basically, you could picture it like an electric eye. Um, it, uh, it's a little photo cell, and it basically looks down the, the snout of the, uh, of the burner and looks for fire, honestly. So it's this is the way that the, the boiler confirms that the fire has lit. So uh, we don't need this. So I'm going to take it off. It uh, just slides into this little bracket. So I'll try and get that out of there. See if we can. I'm trying to, uh, yeah. Oh, it's sliding right out. Ta da! So we don't need that. That looks like maybe a 3 8 These are the uh, two electrodes that um, are the two contacts that sit on the electrodes that go into the into the uh, the uh, fire the fire chamber. Take that off. Okay, now I need uh, some electrodes and something to hold the electrodes. Article. Right, I've gathered some junk and uh, I think I have something. So, a nice big backer board to hold the electrodes. A little brace behind it just to give a little support, a little scrap piece of wood for the base. Um, here's the, here's the uh, transformer itself. Also scavenged from the water here are the uh, on-off switch, which I'm not going to put here. It needs to be remote, so I'm not anywhere near this thing when I turn it on. But also even some electrical connectors, the little electrical faceplate, uh, the piece of wire that this will go out from, from here to the switch. A uh, nice little five, five, six foot piece of wire so I can be pretty distant from this thing when I try it. So, uh, oh, then I found uh, these. These are ceramic insulators that I had, which coincidentally, if I attach them to the wood, they are darn near perfect. So I'll put, you know, two of these. They'll be a little bit an inch higher than this down at the bottom to start the gap and up at the top they will be way as wide apart as you know probably probably fully full width of the board at the top so let's give it a try there's two by three block in the front I've got the transformer screwed down to it and uh, I've got this nice board I decided to put the white side out and it's uh, screwed in with a little bracket so it's you know it's plenty plenty sturdy for our purposes so let me start uh, Putting together the rest of it. I fixed this nice long cord here. It's just a piece of Romex. Um, my hot my neutral are going to connect to the primary side, and uh, my ground I'm going to put an eyelet on and screw it to this flange to ground ground the metal case. And there we go. I'm grounded through this nut. I haven't tightened it up very much yet. I got to tighten it up a little more. 
this uh, zip tie to keep those from flapping in the winds and um, yeah um, that's uh, that's this end of the electrical now I've got to find some um, screws and bolts that fit through these insulators so I'm gonna dig around through my scrap pile okay my insulators are now in place so I gotta find some sort of electrode I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for that yet so I have to dig around I have some 3 8 inch tubing left over from uh, doing some propane piping in my camper, actually. And I think this will make great electrodes. It's way bigger than it needs to be, but it's uh, fun. It's easy to work with. It'll be nice, nice and easy to get it straight and everything. And uh, I'm going to use some of this copper wire to uh, actually make like hangers or whatever to hold the pipes to the, to the rods up on the screws. It'll give me some adjustment and, uh, and so forth. It's, not perfectly straight, but we'll work on that later. But, uh, let's make a flat spot. We'll say about, uh, yeah, I'll go the whole fifth thickness of the jaw. And of course, we want to mount a 90 degree bend. I'm going to pull that up now. can't see what I'm doing, I'm off camera, I'm just straightening it out a little bit. Okay, the bottoms are drilled, so I'm going to stick them on here, tighten them down, and then uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay, my electrodes are uh, bolted on, I can wire them right here. As I said, I'm pretty sure this is far too much gap. I don't think it's got enough uh, oomph to jump this much gap at all. So I'm going to have to bend them together. But this now gives me a point. I'll pull these forward a little bit and get some copper wire holding all this stuff together. Then I'll pinch them together, slowly bring them apart, and um, wire them together up there at the top. Power cord to the old power switch so I can get some nice safe distance wired up. I tried to get those nice and close together. I'm hoping these are close enough together that it works on the first try. But uh, it's time to plug this thing in. This is very exciting. I'm going to uh, flip the switch and see what happens. Wish me luck. Not a thing. So, too far apart to strike an arc of it. Okay, you guys can't see it, but the cord is unplugged, and I'm just going to make sure that there shouldn't be any charge in this, but I'm going to make darn sure. Now, I'm going to pull these in, try and get them darn near touching. Try that. Ooh. It's sparking, but it's not moving. Yep, so I have a nice, nice consistent little, little blue spark. Let me show you guys. As of right now, we got that little that little spark. So I gotta make the uh, gap get wider so that it'll uh, climb at this point. Oh guys. <laughs> Success. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Guys, I can't so I just so can't wait to do this in the dark. But uh, I thought about it. A black background is obviously gonna be way better if this just happened to be painted white. So mask it off a bit like that, tape it up, well, maybe a little better than that, and uh, give it a quick spray. Oh, yeah, man, that is going to work so much better. I'd show you right now, but the paint would probably burst into flames, so I'm going to resist the urge until it's actually dark. Oh, that's stalled right there. But as you can see, I can get pretty, get pretty close to this thing. Um, you definitely don't want to be any closer to this thing than the spacing of those tubes, but for the, uh, for the most part, it's, uh, 
it's not really a big deal. And this thing is really pretty wild to be up close to it. Just like, watch this lightning bolt. This is pretty neat. <laughs> right now it's running up and down. You guys can't see it probably. Let me get closer. I'll bring you guys in close. <clears throat> Oh, Monique's coming to watch. Huh? I, said, oh, I said, oh, Monique's coming to watch. Oh, Monique brought me a cookie. I better pay attention for the moment. Fun, fun stuff, guys. Oh, it's stalled. Come on, you can do it. There it goes. Hey. All right, so what do you think, guys? Uh, I know this is a, just a play build. This is, it serves no real purpose other than uh, a little bit of science geek fun, something I've always wanted to build. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, come back again soon. I have another build I'm doing out of the water heater as well. It's going to turn into a smoker. So uh, my build content, Monique's, will be a little bit different. Um, her and I make very different things. But welcome to the channel. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.